Well, good morning. Zach here on this bright and bushy tailed Monday morning, currently in town. And I just wanted to share something that I came across in a bit of channel material. So I was doing a, I was moderating a channeling event, an online event for Brad Johnson, who was channeling Adronus. Now, it was Q&A time. It was the question and answer segment of this channeling session. And a question was put forward to Adronis. And this question was something along the lines of, when will the financial system reset happen? And I chose that, I picked that question out of the lot. So I was like, that's a good question to ask. And Adronis said, well, it's already happening right now. Why do you think you're having this pandemic uh, going on? And he went on to continue to say that what this pandemic has been essentially is it's a manifestation of the the groups of those satanic elite who have pretty much had all of their power, all of their money and all of their control taken away from them from the alliance and other groups of humanity and perhaps a little bit more than that who have taken all of that away from them and they're like right damn it well you know i'm going to i'm going to take the whole of the planet hostage because it's my planet it's my prisoner prison planet they're my slaves and they're my fair farm and i want it back i want it i want it i want it i want everything to go back to how it was how it always was this whole slave system that i've always been in the process of creating or my ancestors have been in the process of creating but they're not allowed that they can't have it back because we're at this point now where we're even as the people are starting to wise up to this to this whole pandemic to other false false flags well to to false flag attacks in general <clears throat> and yeah i it's just i really wanted to share this because it's a uh, I'll share this video clip now of this channeling segment and it will be quite short and yeah make up your mind for yourself I mean I get this kind of information from channeled sources because I find that it's almost always better than just coming from an ego that is just guessing whereas if the information is coming through a well-connected channeler it's coming through spirit in that way uh, you know that it's coming from a non-physical higher dimensional vantage point so it can observe us as a collective energetically and and see all of our timelines in unison at the same time all of that good stuff anyway here comes the clip excellent thank you text question from david v8 we will take three more people for questions okay regarding the collapse of the economic system are we expecting that to happen within 2020 or when will it happen? It's happening right now. Why do you think you have a COVID-19? Do you think that's just for a virus? Your stock market has plummeted. Your aspect of money is not worth the paper that it's printed on. That's what's happening right now. So you're witnessing it right now. And it will continue to play itself out in the years ahead. Because what is the aspect of that money? A mortal thing. It's going to die. It's going to be replaced. That's why there is so much enforcement happening upon the planet that's, again, covered by a veil. This is all part of a pandemic that is relating to the idea of really having no more aspect pertaining to finances on a fiat level that is valuable. Your world is broke. And so a new system is coming together. And that's why this entire virus outbreak is happening worldwide. It's not just some local phenomenon. The entire world is under this cloak because the aspect of the financial system is being rebuilt. It is the idea of many of these old controllers trying to enforce to have their money together, but it can't happen. It's gone. And they said, well, if we can't have our own money, then we're going to pull off something like this. And that's exactly what they've done because it is a hostage situation. 
we'll hold the world hostage if you allow us to have our money come back. Nope, forget it. And so this is exactly what's happening. Their money is not gonna be good anymore. And new systems of financial aspects are gonna come forward. Now, again, these are mortal aspects. And this is why we say, try not to get too flustered into those ideas because it's not really for you to be concerned about. Value will always equate to something. It will come together in a certain form. It does not always have to come together through money. But what is happening right now is that the idea of your current monetary system no longer has any more credibility to it. It's basically in that sense, as we stated, the entire world being held at gunpoint to say, let us have our money again or else. And again, you have many other different forms of agencies, organizations, governments, nations in that sense, pulling the gun away from everybody's head and saying, no, that's not going to happen. Your money will die, which means after this entire agenda is finished, fiat currency will not be part of your world stage anymore. So it's in a transitional cycle for this to phase. And they're very desperate in that sense. And they want to try and rig elections. And they want to try and bring political power into the means so that they can maintain their monopoly. But that's not going to happen. It's past its course. But they are so incredibly stubborn thinking that it can when they're being told you're not allowed to do that anymore. Your time in the sun is done. Right now, you're witnessing a funeral of these old globalists. That's what's happening. This entire COVID-19 is a globalist funeral. That's what's happening. So when they get out of the picture, you will not be experiencing fiat currency anymore. Period. Gone. Done. Finished. And new currencies will be coming together that will bring about, as you term, prosperity funding. Now, many of you are saying Nasera, Gesera in that way. Not exactly, but some things that are similar to that degree. Yes. But again, this will happen as you move further into your next decade. All right. Moving more close into the mid-year point, the mid-decade point, we'll say. All right. Great. Thank you. So let me know in the comments what you thought of that. Uh, a different perspective, indeed. I don't mean to rustle any feathers by sharing this information, but I'm just sharing my truth because this information just connects another dot for me personally and makes a lot of sense based on my own perspective that I have at this time. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it brought value and I hope it was mildly entertaining and perhaps even relieving to know that perhaps relieving to have a different perspective on this pandemic altogether once again as I sit here with this muzzle on my face now as I have to go into shops <laughs> which my ego really doesn't like but is having to get used to so and how much longer is it going to last Bashar shared in a channeling recently that it because of certain collective decisions where people had decided to come together in larger groups um etc etc that instead of the pandemic clearing up and things going back to the quote-unquote normal within the next kind of couple of months or so the actual closure and wrapping up of this whole pandemic and things going back to that state of quote-unquote normality would actually happen now more so as a timeline momentum in March of next year so March of next year is the time that Bashar has now shared will be when this starts to clear up the most so fascinating times afoot people fascinating times afoot and much love to you all i hope you're going to have have or have had an amazing day and may the august energies bring, bring you lots of heartfelt heart expanding <clears throat> heart opening joyous 
Blessings. Lots of love. Bye for now.